Hey guys, how you doing today? I'm really excited about today's recipe because I'm a dip kind of gal. Give me a good movie or a good TV show or a good football game and, and um, a nice dip, maybe some veggies and chips, and I'm a happy gal. And I love this recipe because it's pretty much guilt-free. I'm making a roasted red pepper hummus. Now, I know you can buy hummus in the grocery store, and you know what, in a pinch, I'm okay with that. Um, but it's super easy to make at home, and it's just that much better. I even have my husband Bob eating hummus. Um, so it's just, you know, he likes it, I promise. You'll like this. All right, so we're going to start out with, don't be scared, don't be nervous, one can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas, and um, this is a 15-ounce can. Drain, drain it well, and if you have a chance, have to have the time, uh, rinse those beans too, but just make sure and drain it real well, get all that liquid out. Now, it's a roasted red pepper hummus, so this is where this ordinary hummus, which I do happen to love as well, just kind of takes on a different twist, and, and I love red pepper. So we took uh, one red pepper, the recipe calls for one red pepper, drizzled a little olive oil over it, and broiled it for about 10 minutes just to get some nice char marks on it, and then baked it for another 20 minutes or so just so it gets nice and soft. You can roast it on the grill. Uh, you can, you know, cheat and buy roasted red peppers in the jar too. So, um, you know, up to you how you want to do this. I understand the roasted red peppers are absolutely wonderful. Just pat them dry and use some of those. So, uh, again, we've got one roasted red pepper in here. It's going to really uh, make this dip pretty and it's going to taste wonderful. Some scallions, a couple tablespoons, one to two tablespoons of chopped scallions, two cloves of garlic. Here's my other secret ingredient. Not real secret anymore, but um, this is what I think makes a really nice hummus is a little bit of tahini, which is a uh, kind of like a, it's like sesame seed peanut butter. It's basically ground sesame seeds. Now, if you don't have it, you can leave it out. But if you do buy it um, and you make hummus a lot, you know, it'll keep in your fridge. And it just kind of adds, you know, some more flavor. Quarter teaspoon, just a little pinch of cumin, some salt. Just a dash or two of hot sauce. Don't worry, this isn't going to be spicy. This is going to just make it taste really nice and give it some flavor. Some fresh lemon juice. The juice of about half of a lemon. And our last ingredient is some olive oil, about a quarter cup of olive oil. So it's that easy. This is one of those total make-aheads if you want, or if it's one of those deals where you're just uh, wanting a quick last minute dip and you, you have a jar of roasted red peppers, you have a can of chickpeas, you can just, you know, do it at the last minute. So it's really versatile that way. Sometimes, you know, company stops over and it's like, ah, what am I going to do? Well, you know, a couple of things in your pantry, you can whip this up in no time. See the color on that? Just want to get it nice and smooth. Give it a couple pulses. While I'm doing this, I want to tell you about our big night out. Have you heard about this? Join me for dinner next week. It is going to be fantastic. I'm always cooking, but once in a while, I need a break from the kitchen, too. So we are headed for a wonderful meal at Dockers on the Bay. It's August 31st, and we're talking surf and turf, stuffed steak, grilled lobster, a wonderful portobello mushroom appetizer, salad, and a chocolate dessert with wine. $50 per person. Call today for reservations. It's booking up pretty quick. All the information is right there. All right, so our roasted red pepper hummus is all done. I like to serve this with some veggies and some pita chips or some just warmed up pita bread. Look at the color on this. Isn't it gorgeous? And like I say, really pretty much guilt-free. Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods. We're getting a little romantic on today's Living with Amy. We've got all sorts of wonderful romantic recipes, like my stuffed beef tenderloin with sun-dried tomatoes, artichokes, and goat cheese, and a midnight espresso cheesecake. Come on. How good does that sound? Plus, we're going on a romantic dinner cruise through the Dell, so it's going to be really fun. And you know me, I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. Make sure and watch Good Day Wisconsin Sunday. I'm making some sizzling steak fajitas. So there you go, my roasted red pepper hummus. Pete, I, you're going to like this. I really think you are. 
They'll be right back. Pete and Rachel, stay with us.